Alrighty, so we just got in our mail. Let's go ahead and unbox this. Oh, it got teared off. Oh, I bought this before, um, actually it's after Christmas, so they still have the wrapping papers. Christmas wrapping paper. And of course, I couldn't find one brand new, so I have to bought it used. So, yeah. Oh, it's so sticky. Can we get a time lapse? Oh, look at that. Very nice Christmas wrapping paper. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the box that it actually came with. Wow, this is... I, I didn't expect this. For 1.1 grand, I did not expect that it comes with an actual retail box. This is what it comes with. See guys? So let's t t take a look at the spec if I can actually know. Ow. <laughs> it kind of took a beating there. So here are the specs. Original spec that it came with. So we have a 15, yep, of course, a 1070 Max-Q with a i7-8750H. 16 gigs of single channel DDR4, um, 512GB SSD, but the seller upgraded to 1TB, which is another 512 Good. And yeah, when I stand home or something, they he probably upgraded to pro, who knows. But yeah. Oh my god. This is my first 15 lap 15 inch laptop that I own, but before that. So this is what I'm using right now, a 13 inch daily driver, MacBook Air, but the battery is die of health, so that's why I'm upgrading to PC. See guys, I'm moving to PC now. Oh my god! It's so light! It's so light! And hey look! Free gift card! Well... Just review this laptop properly then you get a free gift. And what it comes next? A box with the... Um, thing? Wait, if I could actually pop this out. This is like a bonus part from... I don't know which brand this is. But... If this the, this will not come with the original one, so don't worry about it. Anyways, I couldn't find a oh no one. It's a Samsung SSD. What SSD is this? I'm curious. What SSD is this? So it is taped. I don't know what SSD this is <laughs> until I peel this off, but I don't want to. But it it is an NVMe SSD. Samsung Solid State Drive. If you can actually see a Solid State Drive. It doesn't say what model this is, or probably it's just a generalized. So now this one. Here we go. We have our Y with the three prong power. And we have our, well, of course, documentations with the driver disc, which I will leave in a box for, um, you know, in the future when I actually need them. And I think there's a power brick here, which I kind of feel like it's a bit heavy, which obviously it's a power brick in here. So the power brick cuts off. And I know, I know, you, you, you'll be like, oh my god, why not the max save? The max save's good, the max save. Don't you use the MagSafe? But yeah, see that? MagSafe. It's the best thing in the universe. But now Mac don't have it anymore. Only the Surface Pros and stuff. But yeah, that gets just slotted in. Into here. Ah oh, yeah. And there you go. Power brick. This is a gi Yeah, this is a giant brick. This is way bigger than the average normal size Joe sized. Um, 45 watt. So if I would take this off, this is your average normal Joe size 45 watt MacBook Air compared to the chunk 130 watt. See, so look at this. It's like half ish, half ish, more than half, more than half of this. Let me just refocus and put everything into its OG place where it deserves to be. And actually, go into review the main person, the main character of our box today. Oh my god! 
it. Oh my god, just a comparison. Look at that. MacBook Air. My MacBook Air is actually 13 inch. This is a 15 inch computer. Look at that. I mean, it's a little bit dusty and stuff. I actually. I don't know why, but I got a, a dent here for some weird reason. And a little bit of nick and stuff here. Um, otherwise, really good condition. But yeah, I'm going to do a backup of um, this again into Time Machine and. You know, it's a good computer. Whereas this, this is even better. It's Gigabyte logo, and you look at the back, look at this. Two year warranty. And look at the I.O. We have very modern I.O. And since I bought this, because I planned like two years ago to upgrade to a MacBook Pro, because it only has Type C, as you can see, it only has Type C, but now, I can go mad with the Type C. Three more ports! Two, three, six USB ports! Six USB three! Two HDMIs! And two <laughs> card readers. Wow! Alrighty, so let's do a boot up test. So to be fair, I've started my MacBook in Windows mode. I'll leave it on there because of the Windows issue. So let's go ahead and boot up all of these two laptops in three, two, one, go. Waiting for this one to go up, and there we go. Starting out Windows. Wow! Look at this! Done! Done! An arrow! Give my arrow! Done! Meanwhile, our Mac is still loading. Oh my god. But this one has audio, so that beats it. Note, this computer comes with 128GB SSD. This one comes with 512, which is huge margin, and plus another 512, which I'll be tearing down this computer later. But there we go. I'm surprised he does not do the factory reset, but there we go. Our black background and uh, setting stuff. Oh, but the settings load up in just a click. This one, when you load setting, it's it's got to be that one, two, and done. Wow, this thing loads settings so quick. Oh my god, I'm I'm amazed. I'm just amazed. And the trackpad though, this has Windows drivers. Nope, it doesn't have Windows drivers. I could switch to the Windows drivers later. Yeah, it doesn't have Windows drivers. Which I have conveniently prepared this. Oh, ow. I'm sorry. I've prepared this. This is the driver disk and also Windows 10 installation. Oh god, I think my, yeah, my, my Osmo had enough. But there we go. We have that. So let's go ahead and plug it in to our thing. Wow, it's very smoky. I think I have to turn off. Your PSA, this does not have a um, Thunderbolt driver, so just looking for the best. Yep, it doesn't work, as expected, because I don't have any drivers installed for the Thunderbolt. So, yeah, I might need some help here. Conversion, Conversion technology! And so this one goes to our USB. Hmm, I have to test the audio in this soon. Speaking of which, the audio sounds pretty average. But look at the screen refresh rate, bro. The screen refresh rate, bro. Ah, yeah. Look, look at this. Look at the screen refresh rate. I need to have a Windows to drag around. So, a well, little screen comparison. The display is just amazing. This one is like. It gives up when you do that. But this one. In your dreams because this is a TN panel and this is IPS display this is 1440 by 900 but this is well, 1920 by 1080 so a little bit of sacrificial on the I don't know what I mean but yeah there we go so that's how it is on 60 FPS and this is how it is on 120 FPS I mean 144 
I mean, it looks the same if it's 60 FPS, but I can actually do a slow motion, which captures absolute difference. So, all the updates are installed, I've shut down the computer so that I can perform a TEDAM of this computer. But in order to do a TED out of this computer, in case I have myself a footage of what I'm doing. And screw management. Of course, the reason I, why I would go with PC is better specs, but ow, I slight my, my, my fingernails. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so after a jump cut, oh, it's not straight. I think I didn't film it straight enough. Anyways, after a moment of getting off, Jesus, look at this. Oh, the dust. This is, you know, the CPU and the GPU, and it only has a single stick of RAM. Let's see what RAM is this. This is a, uh, you can see it, a V color. 16 gigs of V color DDR4 RAM. Slot this back in. Yep, and here we have a weird thing. This is our two watt speaker. These are speakers aren't really that well in terms of pumping out really good sound, but at least it's a bit louder. The frequency is actually a bit um too good for the uh, so I think I have to wash my hands after this. Oh, there we go. Two SSD. See that? Uh, this is a 970 Evo. Hmm. Very nice. You know what? I might swap drives. This will be the, uh, VD. So that will be the, uh, other thing that I will install, which is Mac OS. And this will be my main Windows drive. Okay, so let's swap around the SSD. I will show you how to swap around the SSD as well. So what you do, grab your Phillips head screwdriver, not your other screwdriver, and unscrew this. Hmm. I'll be right back. Let's take a look at these. These NVMEs are so tiny. Look at this. This is a 970 Evo. This is going to be the main drive because it's quick. It's quick, it's lightning quick. See? Samsung. And this is, you know, a peasant drive. Probably it's quick, but it's not as quick as this. So that, this will be my Mac OS drive, which I will be doing Hackintosh later. They actually have the Hackintosh file for this. So yeah, SATA, go in here. So you slide it in like that. Make sure you give it a push so that you didn't see any pins. Same as this one. Give it a push so that you don't see any pins. Oh, but also watch out for the. Uh, yep, for a little. You don't want to hear that sound when you put this back in because it's a nightmare. And so you can screw it down. And there we go. That's how you swap around your NVMe drives. Wow. Okay, so, what do we have here on this, right here, our Gigabyte Aero 15, and right here is my desktop. As you can see, they are running Cinebench R23 right now. I had benchmark it, and the result was pretty good, actually, for our laptop here. We almost get a thousand points, which is very good. But however, I want to see the multi-core. This is what we came for. Yeah, our gaming laptops. So a little bit of run-through about our CPU. This thing is a Intel i7 8750H, six core 12 threads with um, boosted up to 4.1 gigahertz. And that one PC over there is the Intel i7 as well, but it's 4770. I should have chose the K variant, but that's just me. Four cores, eight threads, up to 3.9 gigahertz boosted clock. I did not do any undermolting or overclocking at the moment. So let's go ahead and test. In three, two, one, go. Okay. Let's go, let's go. K 
Okay, so the first pass has done and I have noticed that the CPU, as you can see right there, our CPU has actually gone for a lower clock speed, average low clock speed. So, okay, our clock speed has dropped down to 2.5 GHz on our laptop and it has finished with an eye-watering score of 5,182. Whereas our PC is still going. So, um, yeah, I just like the other camera rolling. By the way, my other camera, which is a Samsung S8, the one bad thing about it is that it splits my footage every 10 minutes when I'm recording 4K, but this is 4K 60fps because I use a modified app to do it, so that only my S8 can do 4K at 60. Usually you can't do it. Out of the box. But there you go, I actually get my S8 to do 4K at 60, so I better stop my iPhone because it's getting hot. Alright, I thought I was just gonna make this quite a quick one because, you know, it's a final verdict. So it has been about, <laughs> let's say, three months of me owning this laptop now. And what do I think so far? There are still many things that I could improve on my purchasing decision by um, getting a better laptop probably in the time of 2021 where GTX 1070 Max-Q is probably outdated but still it's a great machine you can see the fan there which means I usually turn them on while I'm rendering stuff and it's currently rendering this clip right now and it's rendering at maximum and I've upgraded my memory and look at the memory it couldn't even handle this thing properly which is kind of sad actually. I can actually zoom up this a little closer because I shoot in 1080p, not 4K. Anyways, with that out of the way, graphics are good for what it is. I mean, it's a very thin laptop for what it packs with, with the 487, 8750H, and all the kinds of bells and whistles. Whistles, yep. And it can run VR, of course it can run VR, but other than that, I made the right decision to buy this. I mean, if I will get a MacBook Pro, I'll, I'll be like better off not putting it like this. I mean, MacBook Pro will be actually way better in editing videos. Like, you know, you don't have to sit here and see this thing peak up. And especially with the M1 Max and stuff, I know, I know, I know, you Apple fanboys. I mean, I'm an Apple user myself as well. I have a Samsung. Wait, why did I show that? I have a. Yeah, iPad, you know, um, a very sad boy. But yeah, other than that, it's a great computer so far. I'm looking forward to probably use this, stretch this out for a little bit. The battery is a little bit sucky. That's why I have to plug it in while I'm editing. But other than that, that goes for every Windows laptops. I mean, for schoolwork and other than that, plugged out and using the Probably 30% brightness should get you all day long. Speakers are a little bit sucky on this side. Max are still better at the speakers. Congratulations. And the trackpad. Luckily, I've installed the Windows Precision Drivers, so it is excellent in that respect. You know, you have gesture controls and stuff like that. Other than that, it's a good computer. I mean, I haven't showed it all its features yet. It has light up keyboard. I just Fuck this other K68 into it because I'm editing my video and this other mouse which I'll be reviewing in the quite next video. But yeah, it's a good laptop. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. It's a quite a long video actually, so I'm just gonna wrap it up now. I couldn't have time to test out the speakers, but if you want to see it, just comment down below and I'll make that comparison and probably link it as a, you know, unlisted video, but yeah. 
thanks so much guys for um, tuning in it's a 20 minute video it's the longest video i've ever made and i've ever edited in my entire life it took me three months to edit because i have stuff to do as a responsible high school students um and so many things happen so i mean apart from that yeah so yeah, thanks so much guys for watching, just don't forget to, you know, support me, link in description, you know, I want to be less dependent on my parents' funds, comment, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Jana.